This cool, wet weather we're having this spring is exactly what we need in the midst of a historic drought. Yeah, and while last night's snow and rain won't exactly make a dent here, new specialist Jed Bowles shows us it can help save water if we take advantage of it. With all of the rain and snow that we've had in Utah this spring, it's clear, at least in northern Utah, that we do not need to start watering yet. But even if you pay close attention to the weather, it's not always easy to tell when our landscapes need it. A lot of people will start their sprinklers a little too soon and start watering it when it doesn't need it. With Utah's reservoirs 10% lower than a year ago, drought coordinator Laura Haskell tells me we need to save. Just to be aware of all of your water use. Many of us woke up to wet landscapes. Utah's mountains and Flaming Gorge got more than a dusting. So how much longer should we wait to water? People um, sometimes think that their landscaping and their lawns in particular need more water than they do. And 60% of our water at residential use can be used outside. And so if we can cut back there, it's a big savings. The weekly lawn watering guide has the answer. It's based on local weather and right now only recommends one watering per week in central Utah and two waterings in southern Utah. If it hasn't been very hot and your vegetation, your plants, your grass is looking okay, then go ahead and leave it. But check that lawn watering guide. Utah Water Savers has rebate info on smart controllers, turf buyback programs, and even low-flow toilets. See if you're eligible. The drought coordinator tells me the long-range forecast is for a hot summer. So we want to save as much water as we can right now when our plants are enjoying this cool weather, a little bit of rain, so that we can have it in July and August when it's really hot and they really need it. Hold off on watering as long as possible. That allows the roots for the grass to grow deeper and stronger. We put a link to that weekly watering guide on our website, ksltv.com. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.